Malcolm X railed against white liberals that were trying to use the black population for their own personal gain. I hope that's not true. <laughs> I hope that's not true. Uh, my name is Micah, and I, just a quick question. I get a lot of like flack and crap for being black and conservative. So like Malcolm X in the 60s said that, you know, black people are only used as a political football for white liberals. For white liberals, yeah. What would you say that your best argument is to like disprove that fact and, and whatnot? Well, I, I, I kind of agree with Malcolm X, uh, if that's okay to say. Um, I don't know if you're asking me to, di to disprove that. But no, no, like prove that it was true. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so just to understand, Malcolm X, kind of a uh, mixed bag. I don't agree with everything he believed in, but Malcolm X was totally right on this. Malcolm X railed against white liberals that were trying to use the black population for their own personal gain. He said white liberals were trying to use the black population for their personal gain. I hope that's not true. <laughs> I hope that's not true. But, uh, hmm. let's see why he thinks that. Um, and boy, was he right. And so you kind of look at, I mean, just look at public, well, one public polling poll, right? Where the question is, do you support defunding the police? Most black communities don't support defunding the police. Who supports defunding the police are like upper white liberals on the northeast side of New York. It's like there's this huge disconnect. And so, look, but if you look defunding the police that's the lead, that's the last thing um, a majority of black people will want because if you think about crime majority of black people are not criminals or are they not committing crimes but but a lot of crime does happen in black neighborhoods the biggest problem though is that the police forces in these neighborhoods suck meaning you call the police they not show up for another 20 30 minutes they may not even show up at all they may not even answer the phone they may not even answer the phone. I've seen that happen before. So when it comes to defunding the police, I think the police need more funding, especially in these neighborhoods, so they can be there more because they just don't even come in some neighborhoods. If you go to the hood, the, the police will have like a one-star rating, a two-star rating. It's crazy how bad they are sometimes. So, yeah, add more funding so they can do, like, say, like, Add more funding so they can save more people. Look at an even more fundamental, deeper level of this. I, I think what is most interesting and most important is that like black culture in America is completely disconnected from white liberal metropolitan culture. And they're, they're actually at the exact opposite. It's, I mean, you could speak, and you might disagree, but at least my experience and the black conservatives I spend time with is that this like trans issue is the least popular in the black community of all the communities in the country. It's like the, it's the least popular especially when it comes to like men because they're like what are you kidding me and yet it's being pushed by white liberals on a party where they're the most reliable voting demographic right and so look put simply is that um i believe that white liberals running the entire apparatus have taken for granted the average black voter they think it's just already baked in and at the very least it's like you have to compete for the vote right I mean, in black communities across the country, you have failing schools, rising crime, and deter deteriorating households, and the same political decisions keep on made, being made over and over again. So, yeah, I, I, I can help you unpack that further, I suppose, but it really kind of goes down to this, which is, what is the best for a human being regardless of color? And that's facts, man. That's facts. And that's another thing. I don't even know how... And what he's saying makes a lot of sense. The white liberal, I guess, in the in the average black um, neighborhood and their voting policies got intertwined because what he's saying is very true. The issues that a black community thinks are important are not, I guess, the same as a white liberal. I would preface this by saying I don't even know that many super wealthy white liberals. I don't know that many. I only see them on the news or on social media, but when I hear them speak, I'm... I'm, I just get a little confused because what makes you think what you're what is important to you or what you think is a big deal is a big deal for the black community and also why do these super rich or super liberal like white people um, think that black people believe we're, ma we're marginalized. Because every time they talk about black people, it's always marginalized communities, impoverished communities, broke communities, poor communities, people who can't. And I heard one thing, and they were saying <laughs> it would be hard for black people to get voter ID 
it would be super hard for getting to get voter ID. I'm like, it's no way you're saying this and you know anything about the black community. But all I'm saying is, all in all, we're obviously not known by this community, but they still try to use us. They try to use us to push their vote. And a lot of black people let it happen. But that's besides the point. Let's continue. The best for human beings is to be able to own property, get a fair education, have streets that aren't widespread with crime. These issues should not be controversial at all. You know, it, should, it shouldn't be controversial to say that we want school choice, we want better schools, all these sorts of things. So um, happy to unpack that further. But let me just ask you a question. Being a black conservative, do you get, you get, how, does, how does the black community treat you in that, in that way? Um, so my barber, he's in, he, I get my haircut in Fayetteville, and every time I sit down in the chair, he's asking me all kinds of questions. And I don't, he gives me all, all these stats, and I don't even know if any of them are actually true, but he says them confidently enough to where they, they might be true. And I just have to sit there and take it. I don't, you know, I don't know what exactly stats, you know, to refute those sure. with. It's not your job. So, I mean, I just get, and all my uncles and everybody just, just rails on me. I've been called, you know, Uncle Tom, yep. every, every um, name in the book. There's a great movie. I don't know if you've seen that oh, movie. And this whole thing, and I think sometimes we lose track of what's important. We all just want the best for our families. We want the best for our country. We want the best for ourselves. So when it comes to being conservative or Democrat, that's kind of a title we all use. But what it's really saying is, I think this is the best approach for our country and my family. But the reason why it's such a big problem now is because I can see this, and I don't even know a lot about politics, but I can see that some people don't really want the best for their family or their culture or, their, or the country. They want money. They want the best for their pockets. They want the best for what's going to get them paid. And that's a big problem I see. Because even when you have some activists who you know, are activists for the black community, why are you ignoring the biggest issues for the community? Why do you ignore it and blame white people for it? Why do you blame white people for issues when you know that it's, it's, a, it's a culture? You know it, but you won't say it. And the reason you won't say it is because whatever donations or donors you have, you're going to lose them. And to me, that is crooked and that's corrupt. And it doesn't matter what your, what your ideology is. As long as you're trying to push this country forward, believe what you believe. But I know some people are not trying to push it forward. And they're manipulating others and they're brainwashing others. I've seen yeah, that with Larry Elder and the great Candace Owens. Yep. Yeah, so let me just kind of encourage you, though. Um, You've got to keep holding the line. You're not alone. There's a growing community of black conservatives across the country that are sick and tired of the one-stop stop, one -stop shop monolithic thinking. Um, the great Larry Elder, as I mentioned, Candace Owens, Brandon Tatum have been helping lead this charge. You are not alone. They want you to make you feel alone. Um, and I just want to say we have your back 100%. God bless you. Yeah, and, and another thing, why are you bashing people for being conservative or being liberal? And this is, like, it's just, it just doesn't make much sense to me. I don't even know how liberalism got tied into an entire community whereas if you are black and you are not a liberal automatically something wrong with you that doesn't even make sense because your skin color shouldn't determine what you believe whether you're liberal or uh, conservative but anyways if you have any uh, likes comments or uh, thoughts about this uh, let me know in the comments yeah. Yeah.